In the time before the invention of the camera, scientists needed to record their discoveries and they had to draw or paint what they found. My name is Chris Lochner. I'm a scientific illustrator and resident artist at Kreutbos Private Nature Reserve. I always loved art. But I studied science when I was at university and later on I found out about the career of scientific illustration and I thought that would be a way to bridge those two fields. Even though we have cameras, um, illustrations can show details that you cannot see on photographs. And for that reason, illustration is still frequently used um, in guidebooks on plants and animals. While I will illustrate all kinds of natural subject matter, I focus mainly on plants. Um, I'm lucky to live in the Cape Floristic region and I'm surrounded by an incredible diversity of plant species. So each plant is unique. If you look at them closely, you'll find that each plant has a story to tell. It has special interactions with many different organisms in the environment. And by using painting, you can tell those stories visually. You can encode a vast amount of information on shape, color, and texture in a painting. And when a person looks at this painting, they can access that information immediately. You know, I don't always sit and paint. Um, I frequently need to get out into the field. And that's an incredible opportunity to see what's going on out there. Art is important because it's a universal language. Raw scientific data does not always speak to everybody. But if you can encode the information into a painting that will speak to a much broader audience and if you do it well and you're lucky you can even stir people emotionally. Seeing botanical paintings can really change the way that you look at nature. I hope to use botanical art not only as a record of the amazing species found in our country but also to show people what's out there, to inspire landowners and visitors to take a closer look at nature.